Okay, I want to do a somewhat quick comparison of two GMRS certified radios. The uh, BTEC GMRS V1 and the Wilson 805G. As you can see, the antenna is longer on the BTEC and the body is a little bit taller. That's because that's a dual band antenna. The Wilson is UHF only, so it's a six inch quarter wave antenna. You don't have any extra antenna to worry about. I don't think you're going to gain any performance from the dual band antenna on GMRS only. You may get more receive because the BTEC does receive on uh, VHF frequencies if you so choose to set, add some into the memory, a memory bank. The Wotion is only GMRS. You cannot hear outside the band. Just to show in comparison, the charger for, for the BTEC is the standard one that you see with the, uh, the UV82 series line of radios. And the Ocean, it's a little bit heavier, but same quality of, uh, of plastic, maybe a little thicker. The battery also has the um, temperature um, sensor on the charger. And the BTEC, you do not get that. You just get plus and minus. I think it shows a little bit better here. Okay, on the Wotion, there was an option to set the log, the, the initial boot up screen to show the voltage, and that's what I've changed it to. The BTEC, you're probably real familiar with this lady, and it's a typical screen that's on an 82, um, and it's just locked into GMRS transmit only. I'm going to turn one of them off, and I have a little simplex repeater set up. This is the 805G. Audio sounds a little bit hot. Let me pull back. This is the 805G123. This is the 805G123. You notice it's got a green light that pops on. Also, when BTEC on receive, it's got a green light also. It's a little dimmer. It's a lot dimmer, actually. BTEC test 1, 2, 3. Back to the ocean. Channel mode two zero. You have one one line on the, uh, the screen. And it's five characters on the BTEC. Mode. You have the dual display, but you only, you're only doing one channel, so I have them locked in right now. I think you can separate them and monitor two different channels, and but it's. A little smaller and it's seven characters it's a big difference uh, five characters seven characters but the size difference I not get a glare you know motion's a little bit larger because it's a single single line aesthetics uh, that's a, probably a personal choice uh, they're about the same weight this one's thicker it I don't know it, it, it's, it's thicker it I mean, it holds in your hand nice the BTEC has is more contoured. Um, it's, it's, it's a little flatter. It seems to lay in your hand or my hand better at least. The rubber on the pusher talks uh, sticks up and it kind of acts almost like a handle. Uh, whether that's good or bad, that's probably personal t preference. But it, it seems like this one will stay in my hand. The clip on the back, they're about the same. Um, the motion is a little bit firmer. The pinout's the same on accessory ports. Actually, I mean, you can use the same cable and I do to program them. This is the Kimwood pinout. Uh, the cover on this one's thinner, but a little more flexible. You can push it in and get it out of your way. This is going to stick up a little bit, but it's thicker. Um, the knobs on top, you know, volume knob on both of them. The Ocean's got uh, a champ channel knob scanning you would hit hold a B here scan, and scan scanning, begin. hold this button I haven't timed these but the motion scans about I'm gonna say it's gonna scan about maybe 20% faster as it cuts through the channels notice I do have some received frequencies here set and on the BTEC, 
on the motion I have um, some repeater pairs entered on the back side. Now this is this is what I consider to be a big difference, a real big difference. Just a name for a repeater pair with the, the inputs on them. And I have several of them set in here using the software they provide. I went through and added some local ones. That is something that you cannot do with the BTEC. You cannot enter a transmit fr uh, frequency pair. Re uh, repeater pair, you cannot modify uh, the memory banks. They both have 128 banks in memory, but this one is receive only. You can add them, but you can only listen to them. This is just something that I think this one's much better at it's a it's a big deal especially if you travel and you have the same repeater frequency in one town versus another and it's got a different um, it's got a different tone on the repeater that's the one big difference the second difference I think is pretty substantial is this one has a a UHF only antenna this has a dual band antenna this matters in the next topic I'm going to talk about which is performance of the radio itself this radio I can't tell you that it transmits better because on a uh, on a meter on the same antenna they put out the same power you know on a perfect day you're gonna get four watts out of both of them and yes I get four watts out of this even though some of the literature says two watts so maybe the new radios are two now the old ones are four I don't know but transmit power is the same what does matter on this one is they can hear better you want to hand somebody a radio who's not a radio person the lack of DTMF pad would be a bonus um, in that case now being a radio person their DTMF pad is very useful it scans a little faster but you can't pick up NOAA you can't pick up marine two meter MERS you can pick up all those with this it's got a flashlight there's a flashlight it works flat strobe that could be handy. Oh, one other thing. The push of talk on the BTEC, the push of talk is pretty firm. Okay, it takes a little bit of effort. On the lotion, the push to talk is very easy, very light pressure. So it's all that's needed, and it will, and boom, you're on the air. The plastic, the rubber on here is a little bit harder this rubber is softer I guess the biggest question people ask when they you know they're just looking at radios is how far will it talk how far will it reach what's the range on it well if the range is of the utmost importance then this is a radio to me range does matter a lot because you know if it doesn't work those muscles are kind of pointless if it doesn't hear and what I have is a Simplex repeater at my house, 15 and a half miles away. I'm gonna to try to hit it with each radio, see what happens. Believe it or not, it's way out there. Let's see what happens. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Okay, heard nothing. No reply back. All right. That's a haul, but I'll leave you here to see. Now, pick up this one. Let's see what happens. Passing one, two, three. Passing one, two, three. Well, maybe we're chopping into it just a hair. One more time. Testing one, two, three. Three, two, one. And do one more time. See how this one does. Testing one, two, three, four. Nothing heard. Motion again. Testing one, two, three.
Well, that was my, um, that was actually my uh, tone on the back end. So, it did break it open. Testing one, two, three. That worked. Testing one, two, three. That's it. It's returning. Lotion's getting through. One more time. Gotta give the B Tech a chance. Testing one, two, three. Actually, you know what? The lotion just received. The transmit of this. Three, two, one. Hmm, interesting. So, maybe it puts out close to the same signal, but it does not receive as well. So, the motion definitely hears better. Does it put out better? I don't know, but receive part, motion's got a, a, an edge right here. I won't come back up here with different antennas and try them out, but right now, for this test, I'm using the antennas that came with the radios. We have the lotions picking up a signal, and the VTEC is not. And the VTEC is set for the lowest squelch level. I think the lotion is at a three. The VTEC is set for a one. I'm thinking. This is a superior receiver, is the lotion. 